What's going on guys? Vic be back with a Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we got a modded switch going out to my man Bobby Vu to die for clean like a mother. Yay, 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 yay. Going out to Bobby Vu. Let's check it out. That's probably my worst impression of him, but that's the best I got. <laughs> All right, guys, you know, Joe, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see everything from me modding devices to me playing my House of Rock light gun cabinet and playing the new light gun games that come out that I discover and all that. From playing new PC games to arcade sticks, hit the sticks, just everything daily of me. Why are you not following me? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. And also, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Get that animation there. And I also want to give a big shout out to the people that have been buying me a credit and donating. I appreciate it. You really don't have to. Some people do reach out to me. They do need some help. And then they also buy me a credit. I really appreciate that. Again, almost hitting 6,000 subscribers. I would never have thought that people are still here listening to my rambling. But on this one today, we're talking about Bobby Vu. Everybody knows Bobby Vu. I feel like if you're in the RK community, Modding community, you know Bobby Vu, that crazy guy that goes yay, 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 yay. And then he just has this long intro of a clean like a mother. That's like M-U-T-H-A-A-A-A-A-A. It's my worst impression of him, but everybody knows Bobby Vu. Awesome dude. He reached out to me. He goes, hey, big man, I see the stuff that you post about the Switch and the modded Switch and all the new updates and the tinfoil and the servers and all that. I have my Switch. Can you hook a brother up? I said, most definitely dude, send it over to me. And now he's got a one terabyte micro SD card in this modded Switch. He's got over 60 Switch games on this. He has over 5,000 retro art games from the classics, arcade, Super Nintendo, NES, the Game Boy, the Sega Genesis, up to the N64. And he also has 1,020 PSP games. Yes, I know that 20 is a random thing, but all that set in mind, he still has a bunch of data open to download and put more games on this. Now, it's been a while since I've shot a Switch video. This, I do them, I do them, but lately, this modding scene here for this has been very difficult. I'll give you a quick story as far as the situation with Bobby Vu. I feel really bad, especially when it comes to these tinfoil servers. Uh, if you, I'm not, I can't go too detailed into it, but if you know modded Switch communities and all that, there's an app called Tinfoil and such. What very much sucks right now is that the company, the big red company, is cracking down on these servers, and now it is basically difficult to get servers. I, I really can't speak too much on it uh, before I get flagged on it, but basically what used to be very easy, very quick, at your hands, fingertips, as far as getting games, it has now become a little bit of a challenge. It's not awful. In this video, I'm gonna do a whole tutorial for Bobby Vu and also for you guys. Maybe you'll dig it, maybe you are looking at something, but it's really not that bad. Basically, it's just taking a couple extra steps to get the game you want. Again, in this, I'm gonna show Bobby Vu if this does arrive dead to him, how you could revive it. I will also show you how you could revive it from your phone. Uh, and we're also gonna, I'm gonna show you how to install a game and such but again my mind's a little chaotic i do want to get this out to him because it's got to go out to him uh tomorrow morning uh so he's got vacation going up he's like hey Vic, can you get this done i said yeah so i'm gonna have to overnight it to him but enough of that let's start with some basics uh let's just start with some basics let's, let's just talk about this mod now if you haven't seen my videos i dubbed this the ultimate handheld so if you go back in my videos you'll see something called the ultimate handheld Basically like an intro, I think it's over about a year ago, uh, possibly even hitting two years. I mean, I even have my modded Konami Nintendo Switch cabinet for these devices. This is my personal one. This is Bobby Vu's. Um, again, I've done these several times. I don't film every single one of them, but this one I feel is very important. As I just said, I dubbed this the ultimate handheld. In a separate video, which I'll probably shoot tomorrow because I'm talking about handhelds, there has been two big name brand competitors, new handhelds, which I would now dub as ultimate handhelds. Now, don't get it twisted. 
I still like this. This right here is convenient. This right here, the battery life on this is great. There's, there's a lot of pros and cons to it. So in a separate video, I'm gonna be comparing my Switch, which I dubbed the ultimate handout to, I don't have the newest, newest, newest one, but I do have the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck to me, I have that Percy. I love that thing. This honestly, the Switch went to the wife and the kiddo. I still play this though with my modded Switch cabinet, but I personally do have the Steam Deck. I would probably dub that as the new current ultimate handheld. Now, don't flame me in the comments. Yes, I do know the ROG Ally did come out. I have so many people that messaged me and said, hey Vic, I will send you one, can you mod it? Let me, I'll send you, I'll make that video of you know the Steam Deck situation and we'll talk about why I personally wouldn't even bother you know modding. Even a Steam Deck, I would not mod and put Hyperspin on a Steam Deck. I'm not looking to mod and put Hyperspin on an Ally. There's a lot of things that people just are, they're, they're reaching. It's, and I just don't think those devices are meant for that. But we're gonna be talking about that in a separate video. Let's just go over a quick rundown on the Switch itself. So again, if you've seen the Verse videos, I personally do the version one Switches. There's a big deal about them. Basically, this is like the launch Switch. There's something about the long Switches that you could jailbreak. That is what they're known. This is a jailbreak Switches. This though, when you are doing a jailbreak, this is a tethered jailbreak. The first red flag in this situation is, if this powers off, if the battery dies on this, if you turn this off, if the system updates, you do need now a PC or your phone, or you could get the RCM, the jig USB thing to revive it. If I shut this off right now and if I'm on vacation, I don't have access to my phone, I don't have access to my PC, I don't have access, well you do have access most likely to the RCM, this is now a paperweight. Again, can't stress enough, this is a tethered jailbreak. Just like the iPhones back in the day where you could tether them. If you power this off, you do need programs, you need some stuff, you do need a wire or you do need the RCM kind of module thing to bring this back to life. Now I make a big deal about that because honestly, people that have this, that is the first thing that they're like, oh shit, now it's like I don't even want to do this right now. In all honesty, I tell everybody, you know, once you see the warning of like console going to 10%, you know, I would say put it down and charge it. These don't take that long to charge. Not to mention, honestly, this device probably has the longest battery life. I'm not a scientist, I'm not, I'm not that deep into Oh, this has much, this is a smaller milliamp battery than a Steam, I'm not looking at that. Every time I play this, I could get like a solid, no joke, like five to six hours with my brightness at medium to low medium settings. And I'm just able to game at night in my bed. So again, when you compare and you complain about that and oh man, is it gonna die? I tell people, listen, once you see that 10% warning, put it down, let it charge. Now, the biggest thing is that, hey Vic, my kiddo don't want to stop playing. My kid basically burned it and now it's at 0% and now I can't revive it. What do I do? I even made a couple of videos of it that I sent out to people. I'll make it for right now for Bobby Vu. Again, you will need, in this situation, I'm gonna first start off with the PC. You basically do a USB-C wire to USB. You run a program on your PC and boom, it will revive, it'll come back to life. I will also show them how to do it on the phone and the RCM jig is basically this, it's just kind of easier. I personally never did the RCM jig thing, where it's basically like a brick. I never did that because honestly, I have a Samsung phone, I have a Galaxy phone, so I could just revive it from my phone. So we're gonna start with that. I will also do like a screen grab. I'm kind of doing this two separate ways. I'm gonna shoot this like this and do a screen grab, so I have two files basically coming in. Uh, I'll do a screen grab as far as the revive on it. After we do the whole revive thing, we're gonna be talking about another kind of downside and a major kind of downside, especially when it comes for Bobby Vu and everybody now, and that is getting the games. I'm gonna show you my personal device that I do have a server within Tinfoil that I have access to, and what's so crazy is that the day that Bobby Vu hit me up to mod his, the server I have basically said, hey, we are not taking any more new clients. <laughs> that is what they said. And I said to him, damn man, this literally sucks. Try to get in. He tried it. They basically denied it. 
So he does have tinfoil on this, but there is no server. I'm gonna show you like a side-by-side -side of what it looks like. But again, not a totally bad thing. The next step up is I'm gonna show him how to install a game from his PC with a USB to USB-C wire and then get it onto his Switch. So now what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to turn off the device. So keep in mind again, like I said before, this is a tethered jailbreak. When I ship this out, I would probably say 50% of the time, somebody might get this and it might arrive dead because the battery ran out. In all honesty, it depends on the person's device. Me personally, I could have my switch off the dock for no joke seven days. It takes seven days for this to go from 100% to zero without playing it. So when it comes to shipping, you know, usually some people pay for overnight. I usually do like the three day shipping. So it's kind of like an up in the air thing that this might come in your hands either alive, maybe with like 20% battery life left, or it might be dead. As you can see right now, the device is off. I can't do anything. If I do try to power it on, I'll do it right now for it. If I press the power button, nothing happens. No, this is gonna sit like this for forever. Nothing will happen, okay? Big thing is that if you do try that, I always say you do wanna hold down the power button for about 30 seconds. This way it completely powers off. The reason I'm saying that is because if you tried to power it on and you're doing what I'm gonna do right now, if the device is on, it's not gonna do anything. You're kind of stuck. You're gonna message me, hey Vic, what happened? So right now I held, I held the button down for a while. We have our screen grab up. I'm gonna take a legit, I can't stress enough, you do need a really good, like a, not like a 99 cent store gas station USB-C cable, but you need a USB to USB-C cable. All I'm simply gonna do right now is plug the device in. Once I plug the device in and you have the program running, as you can see, I didn't do anything, nothing here. It automatically basically injected a payload, okay? Once you get on that, you're gonna see this screen right here. Very simple, we go to payloads and we go to fusing. That is it, okay? Now again, for Bobby, I will tell you, I do have this program you can see on my website, you download it along with the payload. And as you can see, our switch is gonna boot up just like normal. Again, I needed a PC to bring it back to life. Again, a USB-C to USB cable. And we're back and loaded. Now, in the event that your switch, let's say the battery died, you're gonna wanna plug it in and let it charge. What do I mean? Probably give it about 30 minutes, let it charge up, and then you do this process. But as you can see, we're up. Next, we're gonna do the route of phone to the switch using USB-C to USB-C. So this is the exact charging cable I get with my Galaxy phone. This does not work with iPhone, unfortunately, but basically on your cell phone, you're gonna to go to my website and download the payload. Okay, so I can see here, I'm inside of this app called RCM Loader. I'll put it down below, RCM Loader. And now we're here and I do have my payload here. All I'm basically gonna do is now plug in the phone. I'm gonna plug in the switch. This right now doesn't turn on the switch, but all I have to do here, as you can see, I got a pop-up, it says open RCM Loader. I go, okay, and I'm gonna do boot payload. Once I press that, it says I have to choose the payload. So I'm going to pick my only one there. And boom, as you can see, the switch now is revived. Same thing like before, payloads, fusey, and loaded. So as you can see, again, two ways to do it from the PC or from your phone. And the last one is they make this RCM thing. Basically, it's the same exact thing with this, but just kind of more convenient. But either way, you are back. Now we're gonna talk about tinfoil real quick. So you can see with Bobby Vu's switch here compared to mine, I have a couple of more options here such as new games, new DLC, whereas he does not have that option. That is because I have a server. I use a free shop, I can't really say it, but it starts with a P and ends with Ixel shop. So I have access to that, unfortunately he does not. Again, that is a free shop, that is just free. It was free to the public, now it's no longer available to the public. There is ways to do paid shops or pro shops. I never had any luck with them because I never figured out how to pay these people. You have to give them a ROM. Again, I never had any luck, but basically what I'm getting at is that 
on my device, I'm able to go to new games and I have quite a list of games to come and pick from. This is again is a server based thing. So it's kind of like Cody where, you know, you have Cody, you have the app, but you need the server for the movies and all that. So as you can see, I do now have the luxury, I'm going to say, of going here, checking out some new games that just came out, whatever gets uploaded. So we have here like Hoppy Hop. I could do a preview of it. And then I personally could install it directly from my device. Unfortunately, Bobby Vu cannot do that on his end, but there is ways to make it work. So again, that is known as a free shop. Again, on my device, I just downloaded it and now I do have that new game. Again, virtually wireless. Um, there's pros and cons to this. Again, unfortunately, I can't give you my login. It's, it's something with Discord, it blocks me out. I even tried to log into Bobby Vu Switch just to get a couple of games for him and then I wanted to log out, I, I couldn't do it. So again, now you're gonna have to look at these pro shops. There's no more free shops. Um, that right now, I mean, it's it's been like this for a while, um, but that is the biggest challenge when it comes to a modded switch. I'm not talking about V1 switch. Even if you have the OLED switch, you have the current stuff that is modded, a lot of people were looking at these free shops, the free shop servers on tinfoil, now you have to go ahead and get the pro shop again uh going back to erocks build that i did for him we were i was trying to get a pro shop for him basically the only way to get a pro shop now is that you have to give them an actual rom that they don't have and it's it was such a headache um before it used to be like you could do a gift card you could do like an e-shop uh you know and then this company's shop card uh, they don't take that anymore. It's just such a ha it's it's such a hassle. I don't know. I don't. I. It is what it is, though. When it comes to these modding scenes and what we're doing, it is what it is. So now I do have people. I posted a video on Instagram. People are like, hey, Vic, mod my my mod. I said, be sure to wait for this video because I'm going to let you know. As far as now getting games on this, it's not as convenient as you just saw. Times have changed. It's not awful though. As far as getting it done now, you do need a PC, you do need your USB to USB-C wire, and you basically just need a program known as DBI. I set up Bobby Vu Switch already. It's got everything installed, ready to go. All you really need is this one program and your ROM. Your, your ROM. <laughs> now I said in the beginning of the video though, I did hook Bobby Vu up. I put 60 games on this. Gotta remember, I have almost four terabytes worth of this because of my ultimate arcade cabinet. So I was able to give them the main bangers. Whenever you think of this device, you know, this company, I put in those main essentials, basically my, my man in red, you know, my man red in, in his overall. So I put most of that, you got blue Sonic and all that. So again, I did put a bunch of that already for him, but we're gonna take it a step further. I wanna show him how to put a new game on it. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go out and get your ROM. I unfortunately can't tell you how to do that. Go out, find your ROM, just be aware that these ROM sites obviously have a shitload of pop-ups. They are, the pop-ups get crazy. So basically download your ROM, extract it. As you can see, we do have this one we're gonna put in, which is this Dr. Fetus game and all that, okay? You're gonna download a program called DBI Backend. It's one simple EXE. You could even see on my screen, I have this nut quark. That's how gold leaf, that's how it used to be way back, but now it got much easier with this DBI. Basically, we're gonna launch this DBI, and we're gonna get this white box here. Very simple, This trust me, this is straightforward. Very, You can't get easier than this, okay? You're gonna click the Add Files tab, and now you're gonna locate your ROM. If you put in your downloads, cool. As you can see, I have it here. I'm gonna double click it, and now it made this kind of list. You could do a bunch of games, you could do another file, you could do control, click a bunch of games and such, and the list will just get bigger. Once you get that down, you're gonna press this button here, which says Start Server. Now we're gonna take a look at the Switch. Now on the Switch, we're gonna be sure we go to the home screen. You should see your album right here, this blue tab here. We're gonna go into the album here, and you're gonna basically see this thing right here which says DBI install. You could press it with the touch screen or you could press A. We are here now. We are gonna grab now the USB that's connected to your PC that's doing this and grab the USB-C end. We're gonna plug this in. 
you are going to hear a windows chime you basically going to go down to this second option which says install title from dbi backend you're going to press a it's now going to search and as you can see it found the game we could press a it'll ask you do you want to install it on the main system or the sd card i usually do sd card and start the install that is it you let it do its thing luckily this game is a small game file so we won't cut but basically right now it is going from the pc to your switch the program on the pc has a bunch of numbers flying on the screen and as you can see we are installed i can press b to go back b to go back back and there you go our game now is here i could remove from the pc and again as you can see we now have our game we're able to play this. So again, you do need the ROM for this. And one, two, three, we are good to go. Awesome. And now as you can see, it's all completed and done. Now, go go ahead and play your game. Now, keep in mind, this game that I did do right now, it is a small file, it's a couple of megs. So the transfer process from the PC to the Switch, as you can see, it was very fast. There are other games, bigger titles that are bigger in size, such as Tears of the Kingdom. That's like a 16 gig game. I already got that in for you, bud, so no need to worry. Just keep in mind that when you download that, when you do the file transfer from PC to the Switch, it's not gonna take seconds. It might take minutes and such. So I already have that down for you. This also kind of segues into, you know, as you can see, this is currently the easiest way to put a game on this. From PC to the Switch, this is the easiest way. As you can see on my desktop before, you saw this program called Nut. No joke, it's called Nut and Quark. There used to be ways that you had to launch this program and set up a directory and then go into the Switch and go to Gold. It was such a tedious task. So this right here, honestly, is the easiest way. There's really no way to get easier than that aside from the server now let me talk about the server thing right because right now you might be saying oh Vic man you got a big advantage you got that server I'll be brutally honest okay keep in mind it is a free shop server it's free by the time tears of the kingdom came out I don't even think it's still available it's definitely not available on the server so what am I getting at even though I have a server in all honesty I'm able to download it, put it in the Switch way faster than when it appears on the server. So there is kind of a plus and a minus. Again, if I do have it on the modded Switch and I want to download something quickly or want to look at something, yes, having the server is great. But again, like by the time this game came out, and then by the time like you know it, it came out, uh, you know you're talking about like a day. Whereas right now today's July 4th, this is not even on the server. So. Again, pros and cons, it is something that is very, it's a big deal for me to explain to people, especially that are looking to mod their switches, just keep in mind, you do need that server for that app, that tinfoil app, you do need the server, but the easiest alternative is download the ROM, put it right on in. In my situation and even in Bobby Boo's situation, as you can see, I got the ultimate arcade. I already got four terabytes of this stuff. The only big thing now though, Further modding, I will not be able to put the games on it. Today is July 4th, so I was able to do that for Bobby because the post office was closed. So I was able to put it in. Honestly, it took all day. No joke, you're looking at probably around, I would say, I mean, by the time I woke up, by the time I got back, talking, let's say 12 hours. It took 12 hours to put those 60 games into this. So there you guys have it. Bobby Vu man, I really hope you enjoy your switch. I hope you get it in time before your vacay. Also, big shout out to you, bro. I really, really, really appreciate it. Yes, it is late. I'm in my PJs. He did send me a two terabyte Bobby Vu Bobby Sarah Bato Sarah build. Um, I really appreciate it, bro. I have no idea, I have no details about this. Uh, I'm gonna link up with you. I'm gonna message you and I most likely will reach out to my buddy B Kong uh, I appreciate the gift, bro. I don't use Batasara. I'll check it out, but I'm gonna most likely give it away with your permission. I'm gonna ask you first I will most likely give this away to a viewer I will use B Kong and his viewers as well to help me out We will pick a winner and hook them up with a two terabyte clean as up no is it clean 
like a mother two terabyte battle sarah bobby sarah build there you guys have it vic vp game case arcades bobby bro to die for yeah 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 i really hope you enjoy your switch bro game on my guys game on